course, uh, as it gets closest to Earth, that will be on December 19th, we'll have the best opportunity to use the hundreds of telescopes on Earth and the Hubble and Webb Space Telescopes to get our best uh, data on it. So, as far as I can... Independent observers just confirmed something that shouldn't exist, and they did it from two different countries using completely different equipment. A sunward pointing jet extending from 3i Atlas, holding stable orientation for 48 hours, visible in Thailand's rotational gradient filters, and Italy's natural light captures. Not a dust tail swept backward by solar wind. Not an optical illusion from viewing angle. A coherent, narrow plume aimed directly at the sun, present across multiple observation sessions, multiple processing methods, multiple telescopes. Thus, the structure grew brighter and longer between December 7th and December 9th, while maintaining the exact same axis, no wobble, no drift, no fragmentation. Solar pressure pushes material away from the sun at 400 kilometers kilmulcum s. This feature is pushing toward it, and here's what makes it impossible to dismiss. The nucleus stays perfectly compact across all frames, no breakup, no distortion, no signs of structural collapse, while the sunward region shows asymmetric brightness enhancement that violates standard comet physics. If you've been following 3i Atlas and wondering when the data would become undeniable, this is that moment. Hit subscribe, drop a like, and let's break down what two independent observers on opposite sides of the world just documented. Because this isn't a processing artifact anymore. This is cross-verified, reproducible structure that demands explanation. Let's start with Thailand's MPC Observatory, because their December 7th and 9th comparison removes all doubt. On December 7th, the Larsen Sekanina rotational gradient filter showed a small, tight sunward feature, faint, almost hesitant. The jet barely extended past the nucleus. The secondary structure on the opposite side was barely visible. You could dismiss it as noise if you wanted to. Then came December 9th, 48 hours later. Same observatory, same equipment, same processing method, and the structure exploded. Not disappeared, not scrambled, amplified. The sunward plume stretched longer, became sharper, clearly split into two components. The main jet extended nearly twice as far from the nucleus. The counter feature strengthened. The whole geometry widened into a distinct V-shape. Here's what that 48-hour comparison proves. The direction didn't change. The axis lined up perfectly between both nights. If this were random noise, the orientation would scramble. If it were a processing artifact, different observation sessions would show different angles. Instead, the feature locked onto the same sunward axis and grew stronger. The brightness increased, not faded, increased. A real physical source growing more active, not image degradation or atmospheric interference. The structure expanded, the plume length doubled, that's not viewing geometry changing. That's material being actively expelled along a defined trajectory. The symmetry improved. Both sides of the feature became visible, primary plume, and... Counterjet, suggesting bipolar outflow along a stable axis. And here's the part that breaks standard comet models. Features like this aren't supposed to stay stable. Dust fans rotate as the nucleus spins. Gas jets wobble as active vents turn toward and away from the sun. Viewing angles shift as both Earth and the comet move. But this structure holds its line like a fixed engine. Two nights, two images, same direction, stronger signal. Now let's talk about what Thailand's triple panel analysis revealed because this is where natural explanations start failing. They processed the same December 9th data three ways. Standard grayscale, inverted contrast, and color enhanced mapping. And each method exposed a different piece of the puzzle. Standard grayscale, the nucleus appears as a tight, focused point, no distortion, no breakup, no secondary peaks. If you only looked at this version, 3i Atlas would seem perfectly ordinary, just another comet cruising through space. Inverted grayscale. This processing method makes subtle structure pop out. It's designed to reveal fragmentation, fan outs, anything irregular in the core region. But the nucleus stays ridiculously compact. No fragmentation signatures, no spreading, nothing that explains the weird sunward features visible in the gradient images. Color enhanced map. And this is where everything flips. The outer halo lights up asymmetrically. The brightness distribution stretches toward the sun, not away from it. 
In normal comets, you see strongest intensity in the antisolar direction, where dust gets pushed by solar wind. Here it's reversed. The region facing the sun shows excess signal. That combination, tight core, quiet interior, directional outer brightening, is a massive red flag. If 3i Atlas were fragmenting, the nucleus would look messy across all three processing modes. If it were venting normally, the antisolar tail would dominate the brightness map. If the structure were just noise, it wouldn't align consistently through three different enhancement methods. But none of those things are happening. The core is stubbornly stable, the halo is directional but in the wrong direction, and the color map confirms real energy is being pumped into that sunward region. Something is injecting momentum into that side of the coma, quietly, persistently, without disturbing the nucleus. That's not passive sublimation responding to solar heating, that's active thrust. Now here's where this becomes bulletproof. Tony Scarmato in Italy captured two frames that independently confirm what Thailand documented. Completely different location, different telescope, different optics, different filters, different processing style, and yet the same structure appears. His raw natural light exposure shows faint forward brightening sitting sunward, same direction as Thailand's data. No split, no asymmetric breakout, no fragmentation halo, just a dense stable core with a pushed forward glow. Then he ran a Larsen Seconina. Gradient filter, same technique Thailand used, and the structure snapped into focus. Central nucleus, extremely tight. Around 4,000 kilonicoribert across at this resolution scale, but extending from it, a narrow, bright jet shooting sunward from the nucleus. Not bending, not dispersing like dust. Focused. The tail points the expected direction, away from the sun. Standard comet physics working perfectly there, but this sunward feature? it aims toward the sun, exactly matching Thailand's December 7th and 9th observations. Different country, different telescope, different night, same structure. That's not coincidence, that's cross-verification. Multiple observers, different countries, different equipment, all capturing the same forward-facing structure on 3i Atlas. A feature that shouldn't be this stable, shouldn't be this bright, and definitely shouldn't be pointing toward the sun with this level of consistency. Let's be clear about what we're looking at. Stability. The axis held constant for 48 plus hours across multiple observation sessions. Natural jets wobble as the nucleus rotates. This doesn't. Growth. The structure amplified between December 7th and 9th became longer, brighter, more defined. Dust tails fade as you move away from the sun. This intensified. Direction aimed directly at the sun despite 400 km solar wind pressure, pushing everything in the opposite direction. That requires thrust exceeding solar wind force. Cross-verification, independent observers in Thailand and Italy using different methods captured the same structure. This isn't local artifact. This is reproducible. Nucleus integrity. The core stays perfectly compact across all processing methods while material streams sunward. Objects don't fragment selectively in one direction while staying intact everywhere else. Natural explanations require increasingly specific conditions. Maybe it's a jet at exactly the right angle. Maybe it's dust particles on exactly the right trajectory. Maybe it's viewing geometry creating exactly the right illusion. Each explanation works in isolation, but all of them together, at the same time, visible from multiple locations, stable for days, the simplest explanation, the one nobody wants to say out loud, is that something inside 3i Atlas is generating thrust in a controlled direction, not passively venting in response to solar heating, actively firing to maintain orientation or adjust trajectory. If this were a probe, what would we expect to see? Directional thrust for course correction, stable orientation despite rotation, compact core suggesting structural integrity, sunward jets for deceleration or stabilization, Cross-verified observations showing consistent behavior independent of viewing location, that's exactly what Thailand and Italy just documented. I'm not claiming this proves artificial origin. I'm saying the data is forcing us toward explanations we're institutionally unwilling to consider. And the longer mainstream astronomy stays silent on, these observations, the sunward jets, the stable axis, the cross-verified structure, the more uncomfortable the silence becomes. What do you think is driving that sunward jet? Unusual venting angle or something more deliberate? Drop your theory below. 
subscribe for the next observation drop, and share this. Because when independent observers in two countries capture the same impossible structure, silence isn't science, it's avoidance.